They say the meek will inherit the earth. We say the nerds are already in control. Welcome to the Fracking Nerds episode number 301. I'm your host, Doc Martin. And whenever this show airs, because I've still got two more episodes I got to put together, and it's been a long, difficult month for a lot of us, except for Joshua, but he has his own problems to deal with. So I don't got any problems. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, one of them ain't one of them. All right. So let's start off with him. <laughs> The man from the East Coast. Where's my pen? There he is. It's our own Joshua. Hi, Joshua. Hello. How are Hi, you? Hi, Doc. How's you, it going? You lose some stuff back there. What's going on? We just got. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, the 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 Jesus Christ decided to like fall down for all our sins, oh, my and now God. nothing nothing's holding up uh holding up Joshua Carballo from Rick and Morty universe. Oh, so, uh, sad world. Sad sad world. And then the other man. From the Indiana side, who made down to concave? That's loyalty. He comes down for like six hours, hours? <laughs> drives probably three hours to come spend time with us. But he made it down to concave. He made it on the broadcast more than we could speak for other people. It's our own Chris Class. <laughs> Hello, Chris. Three, two, one, clap. <laughs> That's for Joshua. Um, yeah, 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 dude. Concave was awesome, and I'm looking forward to actually going and at least spending. I don't know about a whole weekend, but like going there one night. Yeah, you need at least and, spend a, a a day and a half. Yeah, yeah, I would say. Yeah, uh, I, I, in, I, I, I you think can, you can let your hair down that first night, or like really let wow. everything down, like I did that first night. Or oh, yeah, drunky yeah. McDrunkster. <laughs> I totally forgot about that. <laughs> I'm, that's what I want to do. I want to hang out in that dude. I, I, it. You guys are like rock stars down there. Like I, I, I was, I was impressed, man. Like I don't know, it was awesome, man. I was, we're was we're awesome. not rock stars. We just we have our own little group that we run with. And uh, yeah, we, we a little yeah. core group. Uh, dude, everyone was so fucking cool, man. Like whoever, when I showed up, and then Joshua was out getting breakfast with Kennedy somewhere or something. I don't know, and then. You, uh, Doc, you and, and your buddies, they were fucking super cool, man. And like, and then um, uh, they're even like, uh, I don't know. No, everyone, yeah. that, I mean, everyone that, was that's fucking why awesome. I man. invite the ones I do because I know it's a good core group of people that are going to have a good time. Some enable way too much good times. And yeah. You have to be. <laughs> I'm all right with that. Speaking of I'm that one, he, he, he didn't realize like, what my uh you know podcasting radio name is he's like yeah i just kept walking around everybody's like yeah doc 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 and he was like now i now i realize that's you isn't it i'm like yeah that's kind of how they all know me it's from the the podcasting and stuff yeah some fucking friend he is right i know doesn't really listen he should subscribe right Come on, exactly man. and speaking of subscribing uh you can join our uh youtube channel uh our instagram or even uh, like and subscribe or we have a discord channel so um, i will put up the site but please if you're uh, uh, uh it'll be on the uh it'll look us up on our facebook if you need to find the discord but join us because we get on there and talk uh ever so often but we need you all to come on the show or come on the discord and tell us what you think about what we're talking about which we'll talk about the on there maybe tonight the the new spider-man trailer which these guys which we could have done a reaction video we did pop a little bit for it uh so I think new, we popped more at the end. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, but I knew those guys were going to be showing up. But uh, what was I mean, guys? It's, I only saw I think, Doc Ock. What happened there? Uh, I think uh, in the one that was leaked, they showed uh, electricity. So we saw um, mm. this guy, uh, Jamie Foxx's character, in essence. So hopefully, I didn't. I, they, think, uh, like, I didn't remember seeing him. No, no, the one that's leaked. If you see the one that's leaked, they show like a bolt oh, of lightning. So horrible, the horrible. Just so. They said there's there's rumors that uh, Scarlett Johansson was the one that leaked that <laughs> out there. But do you think they seen the actors like uncut? Because apparently had no uh, didn't have the CGs fixed. Kind of like Wolverine, the uh, Wolverine. Yeah. Order, <laughs> they're like, they oh, that's, like that hurt training. our uh, box office. Like, no, the a bad movie hurt your box office. No, I that's think that funny. was a, it. Was an okay movie. Right? It didn't have like a horrible CG, like it, it, CG, it, it, like plane. Deadpool out right? of it. I mean, that's the good thing. But then they also said, "Hey, the Merc with the mouth. What do we do at the end? Oh, let's just sew up his mouth, and then we're gonna have a battle between three guys that can't be killed. That sounds like a great idea. What are, what's gonna well, happen there? Sabretooth was like on his way out. The Sabretooth couldn't get the 
the surgery because he's like, I'd have kill you. You're too old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that wasn't very good. It was not that a good, good at all. I had fucking Will I Am in it. What did you expect out of that movie? I thought that was so funny that he was like this guy that in the comic books isn't black. I don't if I'm not mistaken. Um and uh he talks with a southern accent and it was like the worst thing. He's like, oh Logan. And his power was like he could like teleport in essence and then Saber Tooth is like, ah, you wear too much after shade, you die. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, um, a comic book movie that I recently uh watched, I hadn't never fully watched it, uh, is the The Losers, the DC comic based movie, which has surprisingly a lot of well known actors in it before they really became big. Uh, like you had Idris Elba in there, you had Jeffrey Dean Morgan in there, you had um, shoot, Chris Evans, like a yes. skinnier Chris Evans, Zoe Saldana. Uh, yeah, Zoe Saldana before she became uh, big. She's real skinny in this movie. Um, she's always skinny. She's a, just a skinny woman. Have you seen her in the Corona commercials? No, but she's really, really skinny in this movie. Like she's, really, she's like, really skinny. Like honestly, she's skinny all the time. Like you're just noticing it now. And I know the movie got panned a lot, but it really it like it it could now work as a DC original HBO Max show. Just mm -hmm. make it a kind of an A-team action thing because it, it kind of ends like, oh, yeah, here we go. We're continuing the story. It's not a bad comic book, actually, because like when I saw the movie, I got the first trade and they did a really good job, you know, staying true to the court story. Um, but I was like, yeah, this is actually a good, I, is it uh, Ed Burbank, that, uh, Ed Brubank or that writes it, if I'm not mistaken. It feels like a very Ed Burbanker. Uh, Burbanker. Kind of, uh, Burbanker. Let's see. The losers. Let me look that up. I'm not Fuck familiar you. with it. Uh, there's class is like class is making fun of us, like mispronouncing. No, uh, Andy Diggle. Oh, okay. But it was illustrated by Jock. Jock does some amazing work. I got his book. I talked about. It. I got his book. You did. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that's that's good. Well, on today's show, Boba Fett is getting a new name for his ship because of things. Uh, James Gunn is coming back for more DC movies and TV shows. And first we had America's ass. Now we're going to be getting America's vagina. But as in first, I don't even know. I've transitioning was horrible right there. South Korean echo friendly toilet turns your poop into power. And for guys like me and Joshua or Joshua and I, if I speak proper English, uh, digital currency, because we're all into that digital currency right now. Hey. Possible money fight. <laughs> <laughs> we're all excited about two cents going up. Like, yes. I have to say, though, that, that side note, I, I've never seen people tweet so fucking excited about something going from like two ninety nine to three dollars. Like, I know. And like, it's the funniest shit ever. And I'm just like. I what are you buying? Shit. What but are then, you buying? But then, like, Bitcoin goes up from like, uh, like twenty thousand up to thirty, and they're just like, mm, it may hit a hundred thousand. Well, like, yeah, I read that. If we can get ten dollars, go... we get ten dollars. We got some money. Hey, listen, I got a two hundred dollar profit, so I'm good. <laughs> Damn, I need to be in the loop on this shit. Uh, <laughs> we'll talk to you after the show. Yeah, we'll tell you. Know. I mean, I would say uh, the best time would have bought was when Joshua said, "Hey." Uh, my buddy just said uh, get up on this thing and uh but I, what I, was it? it was like it was like 30 cents a, a coin right um no i think it was like a dollar something no i feel like it was less than a dollar because i dumped like 20 bucks in it and i had like like fucking 50 of them shits so oh, okay um but, but i mean it dropped like when everything dropped uh about yeah i remember that right <laughs> i wasn't paying attention to it and i i think i tweeted it too i was like Oh my god, my crypto wallet went from like being a hundred bucks to like 70 and then it kept going down. I was like, oh my god. I just I just turned my off. I was like, I'm not looking at notifications. Uh and then all of a sudden, like people are just like, Oh my god, it's going back up again. So uh yeah, crypto's fun. Uh, I, 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 that fucking dogecoin or dogecoin or whatever. I, I hopped on that thing when it was like low. And so I dropped like I don't know, 700 bucks on it. And last I look, I was look at that face. I still haven't sold it. So I haven't lost money yet. I haven't lost money yet. But I uh yeah, I picked up like I think I'm at like five hundred. So I'm just waiting for it to hopefully break even. Then I'm gonna take my fucking money out of that shit. I don't think it is. 
Hey, um, um hey, we're gonna guy. give you a name, and you're gonna go and convert that to the the name. Yeah, we yeah, you. you should do that. Yeah. Okay. So after I the show. To, yeah, after I the show. To, I need we'll, to hear about this. We'll tell you. Anybody that's in on the crypto probably know. All what right. I'm talking about, but yeah, uh, this new. Then uh, just say it. What's that? No. Then just tell me. We, give we, us, that's how that's how the rich stay rich. They don't tell the poor people about right. it. <laughs> no, because the Dogecoin thing is funny because I don't know because you don't have Facebook. So our buddy, you know, I, and I mentioned this before, Kennedy, he was like, oh, him and his friends like, oh, my God, Dogecoin to the moon, to the moon. And yes, then, guys, like, guys got to get on this. It's going to be and big. Then it, it just like stopped. And yeah. I was thinking to myself, I was like, me and Doc are not going to be like that because I'm not saying that. I'm not tweeting that. I'm not doing any of that shit. Because yeah. Dogecoin seemed to have been, as one coworker said, I think that was a joke that went too far and it got a lot of people. What? Yeah. That guy, that guy, no, the guy who created it said it was just a joke coin. And then somehow uh, Elon, Elon Musk got was, yeah. connected, which really, like, all of a sudden, everyone was like, oh, Elon Musk is on it. And then because of the way he acted with it, everybody's like, yeah. oh, yeah. Don't listen to him with, when it comes to crypto. He doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about. He may be able to create yeah. uh, flamethrowers and fly shit up to the to the sky, but he doesn't know. Even the crypto. one uh, class, even the one that you know me and Doc are doing, it seems to be it has a lot of haters. And when you have a lot of haters, oh, it does. It does. It seems it, like one dude. I was uh, I was on Twitter and I just like start looking at it because so, that's where I get my information. And one dude, he's like an analyst for this stuff. He's an old man. He's like, oh, it's going to go belly up by the end of the night. And it, it did it. And he's just like, oh, eventually it's going to go belly up. <laughs> and like a lot of people fucking hate this coin. And I'm like, they, they hate the coin because they feel like we're getting way on the crypto uh, that it may compete with Ethereum, which is Ethereum is a really good coin like that in Bitcoin. Mm -hmm. If you're just going to put money, it's safe bets. It's like putting money into Apple, Google or something like that. Right, um, but, but I mean, you're, right now, Bitcoin though, is you know, fucking expensive. It's gonna cost money. I mean, but you can buy into it. Yeah. Right. But but, I, but going back to what you said, it's it's supposedly people are getting out of their contracts with Ethereum and putting it with that one. Remember, I sent you that article. Yes, because they're thinking that if this uh, in mid September, if the uh, contracts work through, that it that thing's it's they're thinking it's gonna it's gonna pop up. <laughs> mean and really i mean popping up between 10 to 100 dollars. i mean that's small chump change compared to like four thousand or ten thousand or even a hundred thousand like they're saying bitcoin could go up but if you got shares in right now and it pops up like that you're gonna be sitting pretty good like you one dude at my job he has three thousand of the one me and doc have and i'm like send me a text up. about this then if, just let me know <laughs> no, i want to get in on right, it's not like you're gonna miss <laughs> out if you like, send out. you a message in an hour like this is the well, one apparently I've, I've missed out since how long right? here, here <laughs> I'm, just gonna, <laughs> I'm just gonna text worry, him right man. now so that he but, uh, that's but a good if, man doc. Uh, if doc like if it goes to like 150 this dude at my job he's damn near six figures his portfolio is six figures so, that's that's what i'm talking about man see the so, funny like, thing is is like I'll throw how, much, money in. how much i invested like i kept saying to myself like well if it if it doubles its money mm. i'm gonna take out and then just be like playing with the uh house money house money but now i'm like ooh, maybe not because if it keeps going like i don't want to be like oh i took this much out and now this is all the money i've lost because i again when you get out that's when you lose money it's when you're staying maybe that both of uh doc just bought a new suv i just bought a brand new truck so like it will have it paid off uh yeah well no, that's <laughs> i i look at it like three things it's it's three scenarios uh, either one you're going to be well off mm -hmm. two you're going to be fucking financially sound or three you're going to be fucking a millionaire with if it goes either one of those routes so yeah. i'm i'm comfortable with being well off i'm comfortable with being having a good chunk of money and i'm damn sure comfortable with being a millionaire but it's not going to get to that point but there's some people out there that go dude it could get to that point in a short amount of time again uh ethium a year ago was 300 something dollars and then now it's yeah. up to nearly four thousand yeah. dollars right, we're really on the like <laughs> if it gets to ethium i'm seriously going to be the you're going to see a permanent <laughs> smile on my fucking face you're going to be I'll a tell you that have a lambo anyway uh going I, further I <laughs> oh yeah you're right well if you ever move to what app do you guys use 
Uh, I use Coinbase. I'd use Coinbase, Coinbase, but here's some advice. If you use Coinbase Pro, the charges are much less than using Coinbase, and then you can transfer it to Coinbase so you can monitor how the market's going. Oh, you tell me about that later. But uh, yeah, I can do that. But ideally, they say if you, you do have money in there or you're it's worth a lot, you may want to pull it off, put it in a cold storage so that it never gets hacked and stolen. That's just some little advice. Do some research here. Uh, Paco Rabani's latest fragrance has NFC. So you scan it with your phone and it unlocks little digital trinkets or interactive filters or personalized playlists for you so that you can smell the best and have a little fun with it. Uh, is this oh, something really? we need in our world is uh, perfume that you scan so that you can unlock stuff? No. <laughs> All right. No. That's that's kind of how I felt. Like, like, what was the purpose? Like, oh, I have this fragrance from then, and I scan it, and then I unlock it. Like, like, there's just some stupid ways. I think, like, people are trying to be too interactive with, like, fucking their products. And- the, the way I look at it is th- there's companies It's like, this is what everybody's doing. It, it feels like in the 90s when rap was big, so, like, McDonald's had to do rapping in their commercials. Like, it's like you guys are not getting yeah. the point of what that's. Th- no, no, no. You're, you're marketing wrong. That you're just marketing wrong. It's like when I see a commercial, like, well, uh, shit, five years ago when you see a commercial and they're, they've got somebody doing like uh, fucking uh, Fortnite dancing. I was just like, nope, you're, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. you're dating yourself with Fortnite dancing in there, buddy. Anybody's flossing or whatever. Nope. nope. Yeah, anytime there are fads and commercials try to get on that fad. Oh, yeah. Like. It, yeah, it doesn't age well, and it's it's very short term. So well, that like, I mean, that kind of reminds me, like, it, with movies that like date themselves. I, I went and saw New Guy, or not New Guy, Free Guy, uh, which is all built around this world. It's a, it's an interactive game, and uh, Ryan Reynolds' character kind of kind of develops AI and becomes the first artificial intelligence that actually forms a soul, really. Uh, and then they decided to put in, I guess, to you know, market it for everybody, uh, like streamers uh, that play uh, video games and stuff that do YouTube or Twitch or something. And I'm like watching it going, you've instantly dated this. If you would have just got actors that act as streamers, it, you wouldn't have. But now you see these characters, you know, some of these people are probably going to get charged for rape or murder or something like that. You know, these are not always good people. And uh, some right. of them, there's, been a, there's, there's been a couple of Twitchers that have been uh, charged with uh rape or all that kind of stuff i'm just saying it dates a movie when you're like emily who there has? You? oh yeah yeah i'll, I'll play some list and some names for there yeah they groom women and stuff like that i'll get that i just think it's stupid you could i hate that, that term groom like oh, yeah. how do you groom a person that's the same age as you you're you're <laughs> controlling you're controlling what their thought process is and making them do exactly what you want to oh so you're just being a dude like <laughs> Yeah, that's horrible because if a chick does it it's she's 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 just flaunting the pussy right or is that is that am i wrong here it's like no, you're controlling right. people who like uh you know if you're friends with someone it's like why are you friends with them on facebook and shit yeah and it's I like i know women don't groom but women do try to change guys right especially those oh, I, I <laughs> yeah i had a conversation <laughs> with someone and i was just like it's fucking hilarious like they'll try to change someone even though then the person's not going to change but uh, but i think they're just, finding it more by because you're you're designing them for sex what's that merle haggard song hey, uh i think i'm gonna just uh, i think i'll just stay here and drink and he says ain't no woman gonna change the way i but think wouldn't you agree <laughs> doc though women who like women who fucking like look what happened to that basketball player and that chick who's like notoriously like uh you know she fucks celebrities like she was like on video saying you just fuck a celeb you fuck a, a professional athlete you have you're good for life. What uh like, so, which Kardashian are we talking about? Not the Kardashians. <laughs> they have money. But like, has it like Chloe or Temptress or uh Zoe or whatever the hell their names are in one of them was dating? No, like they all women. have money. Those women have money, they just like fucking around. Right. Or like of a woman who 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 fucking like, you know, these type of women, like like what's the version like they're grooming men, right? Like they're in an essence, right? I like, mean, I, I mean, they're not like really grooming. I think they're looking for that payday sometimes, right? I feel like grooming is like a term they should use with women or children. Like it, it's children. when you're a pedophile or something, right? It does. Like, it just, does like, feel like, yeah, especially yeah. like, uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, the one that guy killed himself in the prison. Uh, Epstein. 
Yeah. yeah he, oh, he, yeah, he, yeah, yeah, women. yeah. Yeah. Well, so did uh, 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 what was that producer or whatever? Weinstein. Harvey Weinstein. Wine, Weinberg. Yeah, Weinstein. Weinstein. Well, I don't think he was Weinstein. grooming. He was grooming. Just, he was just like he was just using abusing his power. Yes, he yeah. was. And yeah, 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 yeah. All right, we went a dark turn, so let's continue the dark turn. Apparently, there's a new <laughs> Spike Seltzer coming out, made for your inner '90s kids. It is uh, Warhead flavored seltzer, and we know how much love uh, our own Josh over there loves seltzer drinks. Except the iced tea ones; those just are disgusting. Oh yeah, you did not like those. You're like, save those; those are mine. And then you drank. Dude, them. Warheads oh, are those. great, and as candy as like. You, get, you pack that punch and it's one little bite, but I could not imagine. Sitting Have you ever drank a like a drink. very sour drink? And like, this is amazing. Like, that sounds horrible, right? Yeah, it sounds awful. Like, if you want to drink, awful. you want a sweet drink, right? You don't want sour drinks. I mean, or yeah, yeah, yeah. For the most part, I, I couldn't imagine. Dude, I, that perfect example. Everyone listen to episode 300. We all tried. Uh, uh, what well, was that? There was oh, a... Oh, well, me and, and Doc, I think. And me oh, the, and, the, the beer Ronnie. we're talking about? Yeah, the yeah. Soda and the, no, well, the, the habanero. The, yeah, the habanero, the habanero that beer. That was horrible. Yeah, yeah that was awful. Like, I mean, I don't know what was worse was that or the jalapeno soda that we had. Not jalapeno, yeah. the, uh, the ranch flavored. Oh, yeah. Like yeah. a wrestler yeah. tried that. Name? I just like. <laughs> Ronnie. <laughs> like, Ooh. Yeah. 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 Ronnie, yeah. Mm. no, it wasn't Ronnie. Yeah. It was the other girl that was friends with the other friend of the show. Yeah, uh, that she was uh, oh, yeah. one of the characters from a uh, Cowboy, Cowboy Bebop, Bebop from the, the previous concave that we were at. <laughs> oh man, I was shocked. I was like, "Now nah, these girls are in the wrong room," and they came in. They're like, "What's up, Doc?" And I was never, like, "They're never in the wrong doc. room when it comes to our no, podcast." I had no I idea. Wrong... I was like, "Doc, all right, I have buddy." To say, uh, Just like Paul Heyman is... says in the wrestling business. You first bring the women in, and that will bring the men in to watch the show. Yeah, and that's I have how it to happened. Say, uh, Homegirl is actually one of our coolest fans, and she's always down to see the show when we do concave. So respect to her, even though Dude. I don't know her name. I don't either, but it was awesome. I was uh, just like, <laughs> and they have a beautiful this? dog. Her, her, and her husband have a beautiful dog. Yeah, that was hanging yeah. out with us. The corgi. Oh. You mind sign? Oh, never mind. All right, on to the next. Never mind. <laughs> that's what said husband. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, in right, movie, anyway, <laughs> well, I guess in movie news, TV news, and comics, Boba Fett ship has now have officially a new name. Yes. Uh, <laughs> last, uh, can you re- can you remind everybody what the original Boba Fett name of a ship was? It was it was the Slave One. That is correct. It was the Slave One, and I think um, in the world we live in today, you uh, can't even use the word slave. No, you can't do well, a vehicle. Apparently, you're not allowed to also say master bedroom anymore either because of the what? Yep. Yep. You know, at one point, they're trying to get the word owners off of the people that own teams, right? Oh, oh really? For fuck's sake, uh, man. Come on. <laughs> it's like it's all... Jesus Christ. So, I, uh, I, 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 I think it's funny that it's like, why did nobody have an issue when it first came out and now it's when we're in this cancel culture world that's when like everybody's like oh my god i'm offended by this word it's always been there right like i mean it's fucking slave one it's the name of a ship it's a cool name it's a dope looking ship it's everything about boba fett is fucking awesome like just fucking you don't have to watch it just like uh, who's really getting offended by this Who's getting offended? Like, who has brought this to the attention? Why is it always so, like I don't somebody know, randomly probably was walking through an aisle at Target and like clutched their pearls and said, oh, my Lord, that says slave on it. What am I supposed to do? Whoa. Well, are they in the South? Like, I guarantee a bell. I don't want to. I don't want to be like, I don't want to like, uh, like stereotype but i guarantee it was a uh white woman that probably had the problem with it. that's, nope, that's I, that, I wouldn't even say a white person i would, I would, I would say guarantee woman. no no it's, no be. no it's a white woman no yeah i will i will go ahead and i will i will die on that ship i nah, guarantee it was a white woman i think it was one of those you know what happens somebody made a comment on one of the board like i feel like this grew because someone made a comment with their group of friends and their group of friends <laughs> started making noise about it and it started going through the proper channels and it got up to the higher ups and Disney and was like, yeah, let's change his name. Let's change the name. Cause 
it, you have to understand there's a there's a good group of people, amount of people that if they have a problem with something, they will band together and make life hell for the people that they give their money to. True. That's true. So now you're gonna get uh Boba Fett and the fire spray. Fire spray. Oh, fuck off. Fire spray. What a horrible name. Does it spray fire? Hmm. They expect the name to be uh, launched sometime soon in the uh, in a new uh, episode uh, of comic Boba Fett. <laughs> no, uh, there's a uh, comic book coming out in September uh, that's going to actually have the name officially launch, and then, uh, but yeah, uh, Star Wars Lego set came out that just called it the Boba Fett Starship, and uh, apparently, what they're saying is it's a uh, fire spray thirty one class patrol and attack craft. So that it's like uh, it's so like they have to make up like it's like calling Firefly. Ship. The show Firefly is the Firefly branded ship, but they call it Serenity. Dude, it's Boba Fett was just a like. Are you guys gonna call that it went CEO? around and that was? It's not like he had a bunch of fucking people tied up with chains that like he made him go out and fucking do like you know no, shit work carbon, like people uh, did back in the fucking 1800s or whatever you know like get the dude it's yeah, the name the class, of class, it, man. they had slaves uh back in old like bc times too like ask the jewish people what they thought of slaves well apparently uh, in like north korea like slavery and shit is still going on i and would it's say like, that, probably that bro. in africa too yeah Probably, I mean, yeah, but they, ain't, they uh, ain't ship them over here anymore. They realize, oh, we could utilize this here in this uh, this country. Well, it's, I mean, it's it's like, horrible. Like slavery, current... it's it's awful. Fucking, you know, like I don't even have to say that. Everyone knows this stuff, but it was just the name of a fucking ship, man. Like it wasn't called like the N word. It was like Slave One. Jesus Christ! Like if it was Boa, something really get bad. Get to the ship, N word. <laughs> Yeah, there's like, the N word. Get in, dude. It's uh, like, shoot, God, okay. shoot. Like, <laughs> like I mean, all right, Washington and Redskins. I'm a Redskins. Oh fan. my God, here comes that N word oh, flying at us. But it's it's like oh, you know, all right. If Native Americans really had a problem with it, okay, fine. I respect that. I respect that. I'm a Redskins fan or a Washington football team fan. I respect that. If you if that's really the issue and you want to change them, hey, all right, that's fine. If it offends you, I, I get that. But slave one. <laughs> Dude. Why don't you put why don't you, what they should have put an S at the end of slaves and it would have been slaves one. Oh, the slaves one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Chris, uh, I, I'm not trying to date you here uh with your age, but we, do you remember like when <laughs> when they were complaining about the Redskins uh name and like Indians came to the defense and like we don't have a problem with the name yeah. of the team? Yeah, it was like white people. Like, jo like like Doc was saying earlier, he was like, I guarantee it's a white woman that's doing this. White woman. It, white like, woman. they interviewed, like, well, I don't want to say every Native American in the world because it's not true, but it's like, I remember seeing like that. I remember seeing that, Joshua, and they were like, Native Americans like, we don't give a fuck. It's fine. Like, you know, we hate that the team sucks, but like the name Redskins are just fine. Like, they were probably more offended that the team was shitty. So it's like, uh, the fucking white people. <laughs> God, ruin everything. Mm. Well, uh, oh, one thing God. coming out of the uh, Birds of Prey movie, or I should we should call it the Harley Quinn movie, Black Canary, because that was the one of the most interesting characters they could have made a, a solo film. Uh, is going to get. We're just going to call film. her Canary from here on because I don't like the name. Fucking. We're going to call it uh, Smollett. <laughs> 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 Do you see some uh, small sister? Lovecraft writer and showrunner Misha Green, who is no longer going to be doing an additional Lovecraft Country, which I felt like made sense because the show kind of ended in the right place, uh, is going to be coming on to uh, run the uh, be a showrunner for it. Uh, uh, Justice for Smollett is going to be uh, replying or reprising the role of Black Canary. Oh no, that's her brother in it. Uh, <laughs> Uh, so yeah, we're gonna be getting this, which I felt like the most interesting character out of that movie was um, what's her name? Um, the Huntress. Huntress. The Huntress. I felt Mary Kate Winslet or whatever. Yeah, I felt whatever. the Huntress character Oof. was the better. Mary Elizabeth Winslet. Here. That's her name. Uh, which mm. apparently we, if you need a Huntress movie, uh, there's Ramona. That, there's that uh, movie Ramona that's Flowers. coming out with her 
as like a hitman kind of character. So uh, I think that's coming to Netflix, maybe. And Mary Elizabeth old... Winslet or whatever her name is, yeah. she's gonna be it. Yeah. Oh God, I love yeah. her so much, dude. I forgot. What I think the, the only yeah. interesting character from Harley Quinn's uh, whatever the fuck the name was was Ewan McGregor's character, and uh, he ain't coming back to make sequels. Well, no, they blew him up, didn't they? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, and like- so is that how they they met? Because they're dating Ramona Flowers and and Obi Wan Kenobi. Um, they're they're dating apparently. So is that how? I guess they met on the scene of that. I yeah. don't know. Good for him. He, I mean, dude, he, like, good for him. He, like, dude, good for her. Have you seen him? No. <laughs> yeah, man. Good for good for him. Obi Wan Kenobi. He's the, the Jedi Knight. You know, come on. Yeah, yeah uh, I, mean, I can't even. Class. I can't even be mad about that. Yes, if you're looking for uh, Mary Elizabeth Winst- uh, Winstead's uh, newest movie, it's gonna Kate. Kind of looks like if like Huntress was poisoned and uh, has to try to figure out who did it and to uh, uh, and to save her life as she hunts down people. That's awesome. So it kind of reminds me of um, what was the Statham movie? Oh, Crank. Crank, yeah. It kind of looks Which like I was, where I he was poisoned too, movie. right? No, he was. Uh, he had yeah, in essence, yeah, in the first one. And he, he had to keep his heart rate up a certain amount. Or yeah, in the not. second one, right, um, right. They gave him an artificial <laughs> heart, and he had to keep getting electrocuted to keep going. Uh, like, I, like speed was, of the like, heart. <laughs> Instead of they a were supposed bus, to make a was... part three with the girlfriend, and I don't know what happened. Why? Who was going? We need Amy Smart for another uh, a sequel to this movie. Nobody was asking. I, I kind of feel bad because in part two they kind of just like did her dirty. <laughs> well, he did her dirty in the uh, at the uh, at the uh, at the track, right? No, it was the no, it was at the uh, farmers market kind of thing, wasn't it? They're okay, outside. so in the and I think in the second one, in the, the she like she's in the movie for like a good chunk of it, but then they just write her off. Well, he, like she gets like uh, blown off by like uh, I want to oh. say like a hose because he's like banging her on the track, <laughs> and like they just like like hey you gotta stop and she goes ah she goes like <laughs> it never away. appears in the rest of the movie and never never and I was like what the <laughs> fuck happened to Amy's these girls character? <laughs> Alrighty, <laughs> all right, James Gunn. They said we'll be back to make more DC movies or TV shows. Uh, we also know that he is uh, going to be bringing on Peacemaker. Spoilers if you haven't seen uh, Suicide Squad or paid attention to the news because they already said they've shot it. Yeah, they like announced it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it was just like, oh, what's going to happen to Peace? Oh, what? Oh. Uh, I mean, they gave you an after credit scene after the movie, so. I know, but like, like I was just like, I know he's coming back because like you're making a TV show about him. What are you doing? That kind of reminds me. What is what is the most recent thing that like came out? Where oh um, yeah, uh, Loki. We talked about uh, on the three hundred episode where it doesn't make sense that you've already announced who is going to be playing King the Conqueror, and then shows up in Loki, and you're just like, oh, I wonder who that guy is. Hmm. Right. Oh, I mean, for people who who didn't know, because like uh, people at work didn't know who the fuck he was, and that's well, yeah, the people that had, had no clue who he was, or the actor had no fucking clue who he was, because he just rambled for twenty fucking minutes, just made no fucking sense at all. Someone tell me you did tell me you didn't like Loki without telling me you didn't like Loki. <laughs> <laughs> no, I liked Loki until they walked through that door, and he's like, "Hey guys, I'm gonna talk for twenty minutes." <gasps> Something just happened. I don't know where we're going now. That, that, that was pretty cool because someone like the. Uh, oh yeah, they edited the uh, the Wandavision. Uh, is that what it was? They edited, yep. it or they said it it it. It times happens. up. It times up to when she gets that chaos magic. That the and he realizes multiverse, something happens. Right, multiverse has now been created, and he's so like, now now it doesn't cool. matter. Now now everything's a go. But do you really think that? Because it's the same thing as like, oh my god, we had to edit Doctor Strange in at the very end of WandaVision because it only made sense that Doctor Strange would have been there at the end of WandaVision if she's going to be in the fucking new movie and he would be the one training her how to deal with everything. Yeah, they dropped the ball with that one. Oh yeah, like, I feel like like they it it I, it was kind of like they wanted to be like this woman empowerment type thing, and I'm not saying it to be mean, but it was like, oh, she didn't need help, and a man didn't need to come save her, and I was like. Nobody wanted Doctor Strange to come save her. Nobody. They were just saying something was going to happen that would introduce or put them together again. 
And once you once you announce the movie before the show happens and say, oh yeah, Scarlet Witch is gonna be like Doc says, like, oh, you're gonna announce King the Conqueror. Why wouldn't you make something happen where it ends with them hanging out or meeting each other? It's kind of like that other movie they did, Black Widow, where it's like you kind of want to connect the dots, but you did it and you kind of fucked it up. You, so, you've already revealed something way before now. It's like, oh, the impact of this does not uh, make any difference now. All Marvel right. seems to drop the ball when it comes to like, let's point, let's connect point A to point B and show what happens. Even if it takes five seconds, it literally could just be like, hello, Wanda. That's it. If you just did that, we would have, we wouldn't have a problem. We'd be like, oh my God, it's so cool. I mean, shouldn't Kevin be like more like under like going, hey, I know we're doing this and this. Doesn't it make sense for us to do this? Or have they've got so many properties going on that he just like all of a sudden goes, oh, shit, that we forgot about that. I want to say they just they they kind of want to see it because we've we've heard we've read reports. uh, I don't know about class, but Doc, me and you know, we've heard like the rumbles and the grumbles from people that work with Marvel and Disney you say, oh, even before they were bought, no, no I'm not saying, uh, once they got bought by uh, Disney, people were just like, oh, we don't like working for these people. Like, it's a pain in the ass to work with them. And maybe Fiji's like, eh, I don't care. You know? <laughs> like, I, I'm just going to do it my way. Like, they're still going to take our, they're still going to give us their money, right? Like, that's look. That's true. That's true. Like, literally, we got a movie that's supposed to be coming out in like three months and you haven't given us a trailer but no we got the, well i mean but that's not really marvel that's sony still like marvel would tell them like you gotta pump that trailer out. like we you gotta give us something it's it's like what do we say like oh why are already coming movie? out with figures i've seen yeah. that like not even like marvel legends like little kid type figures i'm almost uh, feeling like they're worried that shang chi and the Eternals, they know are going to bomb, so they're just like, let's hold off as long as we can because if they well, start they Spider-Man, out Marvel Legends, they're not going to yeah, talk about the other ones. Spider-Man's going to sell, like, figure-wise yeah. and, and merchandise, Spider-Man's going to sell based off the name. But, like, they, that, they, but the they other... pumped out, like, Shang-Chi, like, figures. Are you going to buy Eternal and... figures? Like, are you no, I didn't buy any of those characters. You know what? I don't buy a lot of uh, I don't buy a lot of MCU <laughs> figures when it comes to Legends. I'll buy some every now and then, but it's usually once it's time to where like I'll watch a movie and then I see the figures. Then I'm like, oh, okay, I have a reason because I was kind of like I enjoyed this figure in um in in like Thor Ragnarok, like right. the dude from uh, the Boys was in there. I didn't I, like before I saw the movie. I was like, I don't give a fuck about this bald guy with machine guns. Like that's fucking stupid. Then I watch a movie and I was like, oh. He's kind of cool, man. Let me buy this two pack. So it's like they came out with the Shang Shang Chi, Shang Chi, whatever, uh, the Master Kung Fu figures, well before this movie's even dropped. Oh, so yeah. it's like there's this fucking peg warmers. It's like I don't give a fuck about these figures. Nope. I have a I have a I Master like- Kung Fu comic, like Marvel Legend, the comic version of the figure because I really enjoyed Master Kung Fu the comic. But like I have no like all those other the, the that series was a fucking bomb. Didn't I sell, send you the video of me pretending to be you at the GameStop? Yeah. And I'm, oh, yeah. Yeah. the movie's yeah. coming out. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. You did a good job. I need to get back like, on that. Like I saw the release of the because I, I don't guys I don't know if you know this I, I collect Funko Pops and uh, when I saw them drop the line of all the Eternals Funko Pops and I was like, wow, these are just gonna sit somewhere, just warming pegs and shelves uh these are not going to sell because none of the, i'm watching that movie going i don't connect with any of these characters I, I was like it was just like when they're doing the new gods movie and that got luckily canceled i was like who the fuck cares about gods you've you've not built these characters yeah. up and now you're gonna throw like eight fucking good guys and go hey connect with one of them and enjoy them and it's like i don't fucking care i mean i'll be yeah. uh, first of going back to what i was trying to say was if fucking like you criticize dc and the rock like, why haven't you given us anything of this movie that you've been shooting? You And Shazam is being made, and they, they show Shazam. Like, you know, so Marvel has a problem. They could have easily said, hey, do something where you, you show, like, a fucking circle. Like, you see people take their, their, their own little projects, like Boss Logic, and they do these posters. Just do that. Do something. But they didn't do any of that. And going for, back for, to what you Which one are we talking about? So like Spider-Man, uh, oh, yeah. uh, No Way Home. I- I'm like, you literally could have just done something to entice us, but they dr- they literally dragged ass on this. No, they did. I I don't think it's I, I don't think Shang Chi is gonna be a flop. 
and I don't think Eternals is going to be a flop because whatever whatever mm-hmm. they come out with is gold. Well, it's I just think like, the whatever. problem you're going to run into Shang Chi is I don't think a lot of people are going to go to the theater. Like I don't think it is. It's getting a lot of good buzz, but I don't think there's a draw for it. Like I don't. No, I, I'm going to watch. I, I really, I want to see it. I really yeah, want to see it because it's a Marvel movie, there you of go. kung fu movies, and there I you like. Go. I was a big fan of Master Kung Fu. The like. All right, so let's take this. Are you excited but about the Turtles? Not at all, because I don't have. No, I'm not. I'm not. I mean, in the trailer, I all I saw with the trailer with the. I was saying all I saw with the. Go ahead, go ahead, buddy. Fuck you. We keep interrupting each other. I know. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Doc. All right. Thank you. Um, uh, like with the trailer for the Eternals, all I see is people fucking walking around, and I didn't see anything that was like this is fucking cool. I was like, this is fucking boring. Yeah, well, you know, Guardians of the Galaxy. I remember in the '90s they came out with Guardians of the Galaxy, like the comic, and I was like, this just looks stupid. But I didn't get I, the only. I didn't get into a lot of space or, or like you know, uh, uh, cosmic stuff, cosmic type stuff, other than like Silver Surfer type shit. Back in the 90s or the 80s, I, I just, it wasn't really, Star Jammers didn't fucking care about that. I hated when X-Men teamed up with Star Jammers. It just wasn't my thing. And I have some buddies that really liked it. They like New Gods. I never got into that shit. Mm-hmm. And so I didn't give a shit about Guardians of the Galaxy. And then when that movie came out, I was like, wow, this is like really good. And it made me give a fuck about all of these brand new characters. Oh, yeah. And so if, if Marvel can do, if they can fucking strike gold twice, or strike oil twice that doesn't make sense strike gold strike oil twice mm-hmm. by doing a and they have a good track record if they can do a, a, a guardians of the galaxy it, it didn't have to be like that with the old 70s fucking funky music and all, nothing like that but if they can make you give a fuck about that many characters uh, for a title like eternals that like no one fucking really is familiar with or gives a fuck even if you're a comic book fan then then they did a good job but me personally i have no hype for it now, fucking Master Kung Fu, absolutely, I do. But that's just based off the comic book, old school comics. I uh, I saw the trailer and I was like, oh, they they. It looks like it's gonna have some cool action sequences. Uh, I'm interested in the story, but I'm not hyped for it. But you look, all of us here just said it. It's a Marvel movie. We're gonna go see it, regardless of how how. I mean, I go and- see DC movies, okay. And I, <laughs> and I know certain individuals, Kennedy, would say I go there just to hate on them, but I don't. I give them credit. I want to see if something good. And you know what? Something did good come happen. Well, a movie that I thought would be good, and that's Suicide Squad with by James Gunn. That was uh, very good. Though was it, got, it good? I'm going to try to watch it. I mean, it's not a make uh, or anything like that. Ending. Like, well, there's some weird stuff. Like, there's this yeah. part where they're going through and murdering a bunch of uh, of uh, rebels. <laughs> Uh, yeah. And I mean, it was a fun little thing because uh, they were going to uh, save uh, Rick Flag, and somehow Rick Flag and this chick who are in a tent don't hear any of this stuff until they open up the thing and they're <laughs> like, "Hey, what are you guys doing?" They're like, "Oh." Well, no, there was some there were some self kills there. Like they they were trying to do it selfie. I I think you kind of missed that. Hey, a fucking uh a fucking the little stand thing where they were shooting a gunner stand fell right next to the tent. Yeah, but still, it just like right. it, that was closer to the tent. But and they then, were, and like, the funny is they kill all these rebels. Spoilers if you haven't seen the movie, which you should because it's on HBO Max. I haven't so be able to find it. Uh, Nef- or, uh, Plex class, Plex, Plex. I have HBO Max. Okay, HBO Max. Then. <laughs> Go team venture. <laughs> um, which I was disappointed. I thought they may try to uh, the venture. Uh, they would expand out the screens, but they still did the uh, four by three in the beginning. Oh yeah, I, I, I got upset at that because I was like, "What the fuck am I watching?" But carry on. Yeah, yeah, it's still it's still adventures. Uh, but yeah, and the funny thing is, they have these rebels uh, that they deal with, um, and then there was like, "Oh, these rebels!" It has no claim to the plot. It doesn't matter. Well, <laughs> because there was see, it's a subplot because there was a coup going on. Yeah, and in the coup. Uh, it, it was helping. But there was fucking... no real good payoff. They didn't need this fucking rebel force. They got in on their own. No, they didn't need the rebel force. But Rick Flag was like, "We're we're trying to help these people be yeah. liberated." So it's like, think current events, Afghanistan, when it doesn't. Help. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> it's like, it just really didn't. But no, there's there's some. I mean, it's a lot more violent than the uh, original movie. Oh hell oh, yeah! Good. That first 
which and and I, and I say, called it. I called it on the show. I called it. Pete Davidson will be the first to die. And at first, I was like, "Fuck, I might have been I mean, wrong." But no, as the movie ends, shit. it tells me Pete Davidson died first. I fucking called it. I feel like we both said that, but we okay. did. We did. We agree that said like, uh, if who's gonna die first, and we were like, "Yep, yeah, it's Pete Davidson." Because I kind of like the fact that I was like, "Yeah, Jai Courtney is done." Like, <laughs> like he's done as fucking uh as a uh, captain Boomerang. do you not like him as captain boomerang i do oh. and i thought the character uh, was gonna I'm be gonna really cool take my headphones off why, why uh, you guys it happens all the beginning of the fucking movie yeah i haven't seen it at all oh yes yeah, well, I, I will it, oh no, oh my god it's no. a movie called suicide squad and if you read the comics people die in it I wonder what's this, gonna happen See, this is the thing, though, class. You're not really Peace into Peacemaker it. lives. Spoilers. We, we, if you would have like saw how like they showed the movie, and even in the trailer, you're gonna be like, "Oh man, look at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten people walking in a line in the beginning of the trailer, and they never pop up back up in the trailer." Oh yeah, they never pop up. <laughs> like, all right, this, <laughs> something happens so, between here and here, and it and yeah. five minutes before all that shit yeah. happens. And yeah. even after they show the trailer, I kind of told Doug, I was like, I think they're going to kill at least five of those people that we've seen in the fucking very beginning of the trailer. Oh, for sure. For sure. Yeah, so, yeah. so I was just, you're not missing much, but I just thought, I was like, man, he was a, such a cool character. And I think what happened was they told him, he's like, look, mate, I don't want to do this movie anymore. Perfect. We're going to kill you. Because I don't think they had anything for him. But the for Captain Boomerang? Yeah. I, yeah. I, I, I really I, like I, Captain Boomerang in the comics, though, man. Like. Yeah. So mm, I'm hoping maybe someone brings up the idea of like his son because his son kind of has super speed and throws the boomerangs. Uh, so yeah, hopefully, yeah. Hopefully they do that with the kid because yeah, the fucking I, video I, game. I don't feel like has... Captain Boomerang needed to last very long because he would have been when you you're having the the situation with the flag peacemaker and uh, Idris Elba's character uh, Bloodsport. I think Boomerang would have been a distraction. No, I think he would have been like the like him and King Shark would have had like great interaction. Oh yeah, but I think he would have he he, uh, he would have been too much of a distraction. Like King Shark wasn't a distraction. I mean, he was just like, "Hey, I'm along for the ride." But I think he would have fucked around too much that uh, it, they those three people would have had problems with him. Nah, I don't. So I disagree. But well, hey, who cares? He, he's it doesn't matter. He's dead. <laughs> so Spoilers for class. In the first five minutes of the movie. <laughs> well, in TV news. Yeah, well, I'll watch it tonight. I know Class, this is one of his favorite movies. He probably never even seen it. Waterworld is getting a TV series development. The 1995 <laughs> Kevin Costner never. film is uh, apparently uh, by uh, Universal Television and looking to probably come on the Peacock channel. Peacock channel. <laughs> so we're going to be getting a uh, water, uh, Waterworld because. Why not? Ooh, for, ooh, the Hollywood's run out of ideas. Hollywood like they've ran, they ran out, out of ideas. ideas that they're scraping the bottom. And they're like, people remember Waterworld, right? It's an IP. We could sell this. I'll give you 20. I'll bet 20 fucking dollars. Watch it be a girl. A, 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 the lead is a girl or a black person. <laughs> Joshua <laughs> called Waterworld. Oh, oh, what are you trying to say, Doc? What is she going to do when she's on her period? Oh, you were going the black route. That's wrong. Oh, God, I was thinking about her period in the water and everything. Sharks. Well, oh. no, time out. Time out because the main character, Kevin Cassidy, character was a mutant. So she's a mutant hybrid. She doesn't probably have a period. Oh, there you go. You're right. If she's fish, they don't, they don't, uh, they don't bleed in the water. And Clash just out of himself as a racist by doing Ah, the black guy. <laughs> he just said something about water. I was just like, oh, well, you're going there. I want people uh, to know it's way worse when no one's watching. Between me and <laughs> yeah, when, the, when there's oh, not a filter. Man. Oh, I'm having fun. Doc is like, I like you a lot because you get my sense of humor. You don't get offended. I'm like, why would I? I know. Everybody <laughs> else does. I'm like, I'm just making jokes. Like, I'm not le legit, like, trying to be angry or anything like that. I'm just, I'm, I have a dark, dark sense of humor. Jo <laughs> Joshua is okay with uh, Boba Ship's name. Uh, Boba Ship. Boba, <laughs> Boba Ship. Boba. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, fire, dad, fire. Anyway, <laughs> fire, 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 dad, fire. Oh, I was like, oh, Lucas, you fucked two kids up. You fucked up Vader and fucking Bubba oh, Bear with that fucking kid. That's funny. Good uh, one. Good, uh, go good back call. and watch it. I was like, oh, that's some horrible acting. You, nobody could say yeah, it. Is. Can you can you say it like in a normal way? Not da, fire, oh, dad. Oh, oh, da. Samoa. <laughs> no. Oh, Samoans are all supposed to sound like that? Because a rock doesn't fucking sound like that. Dude, no, no. Go, bro. Listen to me. Look at me, Doc. Go look at some of those Samoan look people that that no, because if I show you, I'm gonna show you, I'll send you a clip. They talk like that, like oh the Samoa. They don't even say they say Samoa. Da no. They talk like that. Like the one Do you feel Samoan, like Boba Fett was Samoan? No, that guy's what he's Tony Rocky Horror. Like, isn't he like Polynesian? He's like from that 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 deception. Like that. God, and I, if you like, if I want to try to find the video of that. Like I <laughs> no, I I because I put you to the guys like I remember that kid's probably Samoan or they come from that those islands and they talk like that. This has like the be. ones that I'm gonna turn down, see if I could find it. Yeah, turn but that it, shit down because I'm gonna say that. Because I know when he was in the uh it's it, he's in the ship. What's the name of the ship, Doc? <laughs> it's <laughs> fire sprayer. <laughs> it's a fire sprayer. Yeah. It's a fire sprayer. All right. <laughs> uh netflix um as we saw with the uh, most recent cowboy bebop photos uh which the funny thing is is i was uh ign was doing a uh <laughs> doing fucking uh, uh easter eggs from the photos and i was like what the fuck ign you guys have nothing to talk about like they were going and look in the back of the picture here there's a there's a record player and i was like wow what do wow. I do with that information, IGN? How does that really work? I remember that episode where they played records on Cowboy Bebop. Now I'm connected. <laughs> the fuck? A record player behind them. I mean, if there's like a fucking like a gun or like it's been a while since I watched Cowboy Bebop, so I don't know like what iconic thing would have been. Uh, a blonde lady with big boobies. With a and stars, hat. yeah, and stars covering up, yeah. Then I would have been like, "Oh, I know that, Dad." Anyway, Netflix <laughs> is also working on uh, a live-action Pokemon series. Joe Henderson is developing the deal, kind of in the same style as Detective Pikachu, which I didn't, I didn't hate Detective Pikachu. I thought it was a cute oh, movie. Like some people movie. like fucking hating on it, and I was like, it was fun. No, you, you really oh, can't. Hey. There are people out there that fucking hated Detective Pikachu. They thought it was stupid. I was like, it was a fun little movie. I didn't think anyone would thought it was going to be like a father's son like movie. No, I didn't think so either. Like that was actually spoilers class. Was the voice Ryan Reynolds was actually the voice of his father who died and transferred his soul into. No, he didn't die. He got transferred his soul into his Pikachu. Right? No, it was no, it was he transferred the Mewtwo transferred his consciousness into the pikachu that's right like he kind of he kind of combined them in essence and then and then at the end he was a real he was a real boy after that you know because he separated them that's why because like i guess he put the peak he put the human in the pikachu but erased his memory as a as a detective and a father <laughs> that must have been the easiest like 10 mil or 20 mil <laughs> ryan Gosling, I know. right ryan reynolds me there you go <laughs> <laughs> that I don't it? know if you heard that or not, Doc. No. That was it. Ah, <laughs> you got him, Doc. <laughs> Good job, Doc. <laughs> Hold hey, on, I'm, not, I'm, I'm gonna send Doc <laughs> someone talking. <laughs> Why are you looking that up? We'll finish it up with our TV news. Uh, HBO Max is working on a new TV series called The Final Girl Support Group, uh, based around a support group that is helping uh, women who uh, were the last women to survive uh, horrific, uh, you know, sleepaway camps or Camp Crystal Lake kind of idea. Uh, it's going to be produced by uh, Charlie Theron and uh, Andy Muschietti and his wife Barbara. Uh, it's going to be coming out very soon. Uh, it's a it's a LA based therapeutic support group of six final girls survivors of mass murders rampages who experienced inspired of the slasher franchises. 
What do you guys think about that? Are y'all listening? No. I mean, why do why do that when you could just do Hack Slash? Like Hack Slash would be an awesome TV show. Well, that's not Hack Slash. Hack Slash is where they're hunting down those. You know that comic book? Uh, I know. Stuff? I know that comic book. Yes. That would make a great TV show, like it on would. HBO Max. Um, I but I don't think it would be HBO Max because that is a um, Hack and Slash is who has that rights dynamite or something do so you know what it would do haggis flash, flash would get picked up by sci-fi and canceled mid-fucking season or something like that uh someone's still butthurt about deadly cast i am too. think he just a, it was a fucking good show is resident uh alien still going or did yeah resident alien it? got a season two on it Jesus. that's totally different than the comic book though okay um uh, image comics previously devil's do publishing so uh, they, um, I mean, I think it would be, it would be fun. That, because when I heard they were trying to make that into a movie, I was like, ah, oh, that works better as a TV show. Because like, you, like, you can well, just yeah, create all of You have a monster of the week. Yeah. Like, well, I'm surprised they're, like, they're, those characters aren't on Dead by Daylight either. Like, they, they should be really popular in the horror culture. Yeah, but I but mean, I how do you, what characters would they be battling? Because I mean, Dead by Daylight, it's usually the horror creatures, but they're, they're not the bad guys in this. No, no, but you can have those two as 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 the characters, and there were like at least uh, off the top of my head, like three good fucking like monsters. Like the mother was the lunch lady. Yep. Um, there was like a a, a killer coach, like a gym teacher. Mm-hmm. Then the rock god, that that was pretty cool. Like there were that that was a really good. The doctor, there was a doctor there too. Like there's some good characters, and I feel like. Any studio that picks that up and does it right and sells it, they they got themselves like a good three seasons worth of quality material if done right because it has to be rated R, like it has to be mature. I was remember reading one of the the comics where uh, if 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 you know comic book writers and artists, uh, there was one where there uh, there was a mass murder going on at a comic convention, and uh, poor Robert Kirkman and Scotty Young and a number of other different writers all got murdered at this place. I was like, I know those guys. <laughs> I know their work. Oh, that's funny. Or Robert Kirkman was like trying to be so helpful and everything, but he got murdered. Well, on a certain South Park episode, and it actually in par- featured in a certain South Park video game, Casa Bonita, the restaurant featured on the show, is apparently going into bankruptcy. And I guess it helps when uh, Trey and Matt got a $900 million deal to continue on with South Park. They're now going to be the new owners of the Casa Bonita. If you don't, I didn't even know that was a real place. I, I thought, thought it was out. fake, and apparently yeah. it was a big place in uh, around Denver <laughs> or something. Casa Bonita, Casa Bonita. <laughs> uh, it is a uh, built in 1974. Features arcade, gave a uh, waterfall with cliff divers, um, and then uh, yeah, you watch the episode, and again, it's part of the uh, South Park game too, the second version, South Park: The Fractured Butthole. Um, if you've ever wanted to check it out, <laughs> which I've not finished that version, I've finished the first one. But I still need to finish. I finished the second one. I don't remember Costa Benita in the second one. It's the expansion. Oh, see, I I figured that was it. I never played the expansion. Okay, so I hadn't finished the first one, and and uh, I played a little bit of the expansion. I tell you, man, the second one with the fucking the unborn fetuses coming out and the oh, Hitler, yeah. and it was like, oh, Khloe Kardashian's baby, unborn baby. I literally could not stop laughing while playing that part. Like I had, to, I was so, oh god. <laughs> I was oh, just like the god. first game when I'm playing it, going, oh my god. When you think they can't go any further, they find a way to go further. Like I hope no child played that game thinking like, oh, this Are is the South Park cool. games good. Are they what? pretty good? I've oh never played God. them. Now, I, I, mean, I think I had a I, demo of the fractured butthole, but I, I never. I will tell it. you this: I am not a turn-based RPG guy because I don't like the oh now you do this. Right, you do this. right. I'd rather no, I'd rather be like hack and slash RPG than anything else. Uh, but sure. the humor is just yeah. top notch. Like it is okay. so worth it. I'll put it okay. to you like this: okay. you're, you're literally if you ever wanted to be a part of a South Park show. You're basically playing an episode of South Park. Yep. Okay, cool. You're the new kid. Yeah, you're the new kid. And the new kid. Oh, God. Oh, man. Those games are awesome. I can't wait for the third one because they, what, they're going to make nine more, right? Uh, so with their deal, $900 million over the next six years, one of the richest deals in TV history. Uh, they've got 
I think it's nine movies they're going to make, continuing on for at least what six seasons, I think, additional six seasons. And they're, uh, oh, here we go, 14 made for streaming movies. And then um, I think they're going to come out with a couple more uh, video games along with continuing the series. Good for them, man. Good for them. And one of them just got divorced, so. <laughs> It's, it has to it has to be Matt. No, it has to be Trey Parker. Because you know he lives and dies by that show. And Matt just I kinda, mean, fuck, man. Like, Matt, like, Matt just kind of hangs out. He's like, hey, I'm his buddy. It's creeping on 30, right? It's 30 years it's been on, right? Yep. Oh, yeah. yeah That's it's... amazing. Like, if you would have told me that show as a kid, given how everything goes with T... Because I was just thinking about this with the Venture Brothers. I'm watching and I'm laughing. I'm like, they can't say any of this stuff nowadays. For that show to still stand the test of time and still keep going is amazing. So, let's see. I salute know to like Comedy Central 90, for never giving yeah, up on Yeah, 1997. It. Wow. Wow. So they were going a couple on 25 more years. years. Yeah, yeah, they're going, wow. That's crazy, man. That's crazy. And, and with this deal, they'll probably be 30. Yeah, oh, easy. Fuck, man. Do you think uh, South Park be done before uh, before South Park would be done? South Park before South Park. No, Simpsons? I'm sorry, Simpsons. Yeah, I'm sorry, South Park before mm. South Park. Yeah, <laughs> I think the Simpsons will be off the air before South Park, or actually, which one do you think will be off the air first? Simpsons, South Park, or Family Guy? Family Guy. Yeah, I knew. We were gonna yeah, say that. I'm gonna, I'm uh, gonna say since both two of them are both owned by Fox, I want to say the Simpsons because I feel like those voice actors are pretty much like, yeah, we're done. Like. The, it, and I've heard nothing but bad things about the new seasons of The Simpsons. Like, don't yeah, get me wrong. Yeah. Like, I've I've seen like episodes being played in the background of my job, and I'll laugh. But I've had I haven't had anyone to say, "Did you ever watch the new episode of The Simpsons?" Right. Even with Family Guy, but like South Park is like somebody, someone in my age will be like, "Hey, yo, that new South Park was fucking hilarious." Yeah. No one talks about the simpsons I, no one talks about that family the, i i told stacy i said uh most of the simpsons episodes seem like lisa episodes and she goes what does that mean i said those are considered the worst episodes yeah the episodes <laughs> are the preachy episodes and i feel like that's where most i don't know because like when growing up watching it like i remember the one where she she goes to the lisa goes to washington that was a pretty good episode oh where she becomes um, president and shit no like where she, she she's like um she like writes a, a essay and it gets like nominated, but it shows oh, like the, yeah. like about saving the forest and like the guy who's like telling yeah. her like oh, and it shows how crooked like you you learn without knowing how fucking crooked politicians can be. Yeah, and like you go oh shit like you think back about it like oh man they were trying to tell us something look you know like yeah. but that was when it first started. Well, talking about Simpsons in a long time though. Talking about Family anime, Guys to watch animated shows and shows that are no longer on the air like. You know, Venture Brothers, there's there's talks of uh, it coming back, but I think they're looking to do like a... Are they looking to do another season or is it just going to be like a movie possibly? I don't know, but I feel like if HBO Max, if like Hulu and HBO Max see like the numbers go up, people watching it, they... Because it has to be streaming only because it can't be... Like even then, like some of the jokes, like I'm like, like fucking Dean and the other one say like fucked up things to each other. We're really... It's the blonde headed one. And I'm like, fuck, you can't say that now. Cause like uh, one episode, he's like, "What?" Are, like Sergeant something ho like he's. I think he said homo, and I was like, <laughs> "Oh shit!" And Maybe like, that was his name. I don't know. No, because like I think Sergeant because I was it Sergeant Hatred. Like he oh, was yeah. trying to touch them, oh. and like I, I guess I missed it when I was watching the first season or the, the the rest of the second season. But I'm like, he calls them like the, like the that term, and I was like, "Holy shit! You can't say that." Like, you can't say that. What show that's no longer on the air would you want back? Like, if we were possibly getting Venture Brothers, we may get Aqua Teen Hunger Force back. Like, what? King of I the Hill. Like King the of the Hill. There's show. talk of King of the Hill coming back. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Chappelle show. No, you said animated? About animated. Animated, yeah. Animated, like, that, there's, uh, honestly, uh, this, you probably never heard of it. Ugly Americans is pretty good. I enjoyed that show. Uh, you know what? Uh, Drawn Together. I, if, if you watch that, that definitely would not hold up in the the, the world we live in. Is that good? Drawn them, together, I never did watch. Together, it. I really lost. It, okay. I lost interest in it, but I was like, I remember they were like they're releasing DVD saying, "Oh, it's uncensored," and I'm like, "It's still censored." 
Yes. Like, <laughs> well, it's it's funny, man, because whenever they like re-release something that's been gone for a while, like Family Guy did it. I mean, it, it was in such a close time period that that worked, and it was still in a time where like you can get away with a lot of shit. But like when they redid like, like Beavis and Butthead, it just like mm, didn't really hold up the way it used to. Oh no, and, yeah, like, and there's still there's talks of it coming back again. You know, and it just kind of like, well, it just. I don't know. It was one of those right places. Right, right me, times. Well, like you know, Animaniacs. Like I even movie. went back and I started watching I couldn't, the I couldn't new watch Animaniacs. Animaniacs. I couldn't get it. It wasn't what it was back in Do the you 90s, think man. Beavis and Butthead, you lose when you're not, you're just doing a whole episode with them and it, the jokes become too long. Like when yeah. they're showing music videos that breaks it up and they're doing, a, you know, yeah. the Mystery Science Theater riff tracks kind of thing. But yes. that was really big. 100 percent. I When they took that part away, that was such a huge aspect of like you have the episode and then boom, you get a stupid journey video and you're like, oh, this is funny. And then back to the episode it's yeah. like that helped it tremendously. And so, yeah, it just. I don't know. If they're they're re-releasing things. It's like it's usually going to be destined to fail. So like King of the Hill, it was great. What you know, I miss watching those shows because I really liked it. But like if they come out with new ones, it's like is it really well, going to well, hold up? Let's talk about destined to fail, and we'll talk about Netflix's Kevin Smith. Uh, he or uh, the Masters of the Universe. Have any of you all watched it? No, I, I watched heard it was the horrible. first episode, and I kind of was just like, well, He Man and Skeletor disappeared, so. As on right. six episodes. It really, it should be called Tila and the Masters of the Universe because it's. That's, I mean, and there, you know what? It's yeah. fine if you would have came out and pretty much was like, but he came out I was like, we're doing a He Man show and everything. But it was like, no, you took He Man out of it right at the beginning, and then at the very end, when you bring He Man back, spoilers, you take him back out again. So right. it was a Tila, and then she's just like you can't connect with her because she's all just like oh, i don't like this the the world sucks now i hate my life where's a vampire yeah. to murder because mm. it was sarah <laughs> michelle geller did the voice uh oh yeah and then like sarah michelle geller came out she's like i didn't really <laughs> like the original he-man i was like yeah because you, you're 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 a fucking girl it wasn't made for you it was made for nah. boys yeah like exactly. shit. like we weren't going oh my little pony oh i love my little pony so uh yeah jim no, I, was like actually a I show from jim. like that time period that like that group dudes was and like chicks both yeah. yeah dudes and chicks could actually both get into but like yeah he-man was definitely geared towards like you know it was way more masculine for you know way more testosterone than anything else like yeah you had tila you had evil Lynn, but then like who else sorceress or whatever and like oh yeah the there was no was strong it. fucking yep. women characters and like everyone was like dudes it was a dude show yep it was so, exactly. yeah 100 you weren't complaining mm -hmm. and then no they went they went a whole totally different direction which is fine but when you're but you would it's oh, i was trying to think of a like a, a another like cartoon or something like that that like if you take like that main character and then go mm -hmm. well now we're going to feature this character majority of the people right. are going to have problems with it yeah if you came out with fucking thundercats a remake and then you did like what was her name chitara or whatever her name was and yeah. that's who was like the whole thing was based about her well no how about this like, fucking... it was based about with snarf and you did it all about snarf <laughs> yeah well snarf. did they make the whole show about like orko like uh, that would be more accurate for like... <laughs> yeah i know but no 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 it be... uh that's well, I was just dude. like okay so Shira, like her buddy was uh, a guy right. and so if you said hey we're making the Shira show which they made a new one but then it was like oh it's featuring this guy it's not really going to be about Shira people would have right. a fucking fit but when yeah. they do it with he-man all of a sudden they're like oh you guys are just masculine toxic toxicity and stuff like that toxic masculinity going on you should be able to handle a woman i was like no that's i'm not that's not what i came for yeah now, speaking of not what I came for, if you've seen the other Netflix He-Man series, the trailer they've shown for that. <laughs> oh my God. I haven't it's seen like, that. It's like, hey, we're gonna have uh we're gonna have Prince Adam, and apparently he's gonna hand off all the power to all these little kids that are gonna be a uh, part of his group now. So and Orko's a robot. Oh what? Orko's a fucking robot. Uh, fucking dude, Orko. Orko. Oh, or oh, was dope. Oh, it was dope, man. I, I even back in the day, like a lot of people were like, "Ah, oh, he's fucking stupid." I was like, "I like that little fucking wizard." I thought he was awesome, man. He was. I don't know. I don't know. That's God. Why? What's up with this He-Man resurgence? 
Well, but it's stuff, not even about He-Man. It's the like, 80s. Well, no, yeah, yeah, definitely not. No, go. I will put the trailer up on there so you can watch that if uh, if you're if you're watching the YouTube video, if you're watching the podcast or listening to podcasts. Not gonna work. Uh, but yes, no, or go check Netflix and uh, or or YouTube and check it out. Uh, it's oh, it's oh, it's crap. It's crap. It's bad. But what again, people say, go like Fortnite. It yeah, it looks like, like fucking Fortnite. Yeah, it looks like fucking Fortnite. Oh, for now again, people sake. say, "Well, why are you forty-year-old men fucking worrying about it?" You know what? You're either get a new IP and fucking sell it to the kids, but when you bring back stuff that I connected with, and then you you like, oh, you guys should have a problem. Fuck you. Maybe I do have a fucking problem, but at least I still have my That's original. Right. My original that doesn't fucking hold up at all. It is some shitty fucking G.I. <laughs> Joe is shitty. Transformers are shitty. He Man is shitty. Battle Stars is shitty. Fucking, I didn't watch Silverhawk. Who the fuck were these people watching Silverhawks? When I see artwork of the uh, 80s, I and they throw. I, I love Silverhawk. See, fucking kid. kids in New York on Channel 5 were watching fucking Silverhawk. That's the problem. Fox 5. Fox, Fox 5. 5. Yes. <laughs> you know what? I went back and I watched some G.I. Joe not that long ago. Well, a couple years ago, actually. And wow, I wonder, like, no wonder all of us have like ADD because those shows are like chop, 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 chop. And it's, I mean, it's crazy how fucking, I don't know. It's, it's crazy. Have you ever watched Community? Choppy Chop. Yes. Did you watch the G.I. Joe episode? Yeah, yeah. Uh, that must have been the season I didn't watch. I don't know. (laughs) Yeah, I don't remember that Go look up the the G.I. Joe. It's a whole episode is, uh, Jeff is, uh, uh, he kind of overdosed because he's having a midlife crisis and he's in his okay head, uh, playing as a gi joe character that's awesome oh no, it's, it's a great episode <laughs> it's a great okay. episode. uh in comic news as we move forward scott snyder has uh, inked a deal with uh, uh amazon comicology uh which a lot of uh, people are going to uh what the uh was it jeff lemire um, who does uh, Sweet Tooth. I know he's got some uh, new comics coming on there. Uh, his first title is going to be We Have Demons. It's coming along like that. And then if you're interested, uh, Scott Snyder is actually going to be doing uh, writing uh, where you can uh, st- uh, log in and uh, get writing sessions with him. Uh, you Whoa, that's interesting. That's cool. I think he's going to be doing weekly. Like right now, I think this week, he's going to be doing uh, how he created the account of yeah. Owls and uh, what he did with Court. 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 Oh, sorry, I can't. I fucked it up. Court. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck you all. Fuck you. <laughs> I knew I was going to fuck. I was like, yeah. Yeah, right. I said the words correctly. Yes. And then, nope. Joshua has to be there to correct me. There it is. There it is. Mask. <laughs> the Count of Owls mask. <laughs> yes, I am the Count of Owls. <laughs> One, <laughs> two oh, owls. <laughs> Anywho, uh, uh, and then we're going to uh, the other big news that we're going to talk about on another show, because I am bringing in a special guest for this. Uh, the mo- the recent oh. sub stack. If you haven't heard about that, it is where uh, kind of like like with image, I guess, but a little bit different where uh, comic writers and artists are getting these things where you sign in kind of like a Patreon or OnlyFans, if you showed your titties. Um, But it's about comic book where you sign up for either monthly for like seven bucks a month, uh, or you can pay the whole year. Or there's other thing called a founders where like a lot of guys like Scotty Young, if you paid the $250, uh, you got some uh, copies of comics. Um, But I know when we bring in our special guest to talk about it, who I feel like is a good uh, could kind of break it down, what the direction could mean. Uh, but unfortunately, that guest could not be on this week. But uh, in the future, we will be bringing this person on. I feel like uh, I just discovered something new because I always thought Substack was for like reporters and journalists. <laughs> it's it's uh, no, a bunch of comic book people are joining up, uh, creating a subscription service. Uh, like the guy who creates, uh, I actually signed up for his. Um, uh, was it Tylen? The guy who does uh, Something's Killing the Children, uh, which again, if you've not read, it's really really good um hmm. he also did uh God, i'm trying to think of the other stuff that he's wrote where are we at um yes seven bucks a month for scott snyder to fucking like give you tips on writing is a fucking steal dude oh, it is yeah that's awesome i was dude, like chris Jim Lee did something like that or like or anyone like any uh you know fucking uh ryan otley who did invincible and like amazing spider any of these uh, Dude, that would I would join that in a 
fucking heartbeat. Well, yeah, man. if you're I'm really thinking about getting into comics right. and you're like, hey, I want to learn how they create their stories. Um, yeah, uh, that would have been James, useful. To James Joshua the fourth, who created uh, that, I signed up for his. Um, that would have been useful for me when I was like, oh, I could like, I, I want to write comic book stories. <laughs> yeah. yeah, years ago when Joshua wasn't like didn't know what the fuck he wanted to do with his life. <laughs> James Tiny in the first, the fourth. That's the yeah. one. Yeah, he okay. wrote. Yeah, uh, right. He's he wrote a lot of the Batman. Um, mm -hmm. He uh, he spun off the Night of the Owls, not the Count of the yeah. Owls, um, and tied it into Alfred. Um, let's see what else did he Alfred. Did to, uh, Alfred. Alfred. Uh, <laughs> he's currently working on the Department of Truth, and uh, what else did he do uh, for Boom Studios? He's done something is killing the children, which is really good. Uh, he wrote The Woods, which is really good. Um, and Wind also, if you've not read any of those. Yeah, cool. uh, that's cool. But yeah I signed up for like the year thing because he's actually like, hey, if you guys sign up for me, I'm going to give you uh, comics. I'll go find some old comics that I have and I'll send them out to the fans. Like Scotty Young, which I love his art. He was just like, oh, I'll send you a, uh, a digital copy of some of the art that I put together. I was like, ooh, digital copy. I have that your, you could print up. I have your paper. I, I have your digital copies right here on the on the internet. I can just download it right now. Oh, but now thank you for sending me a PDF of that. Oh, thank you, Scotty. Scotty Young is watching this episode and going, "Ah, oh, you fucking asshole!" Now I, <laughs> I got you. <laughs> Hand drawn specifically. <laughs> Fuck you, Doc, and the uh, fucking back nerds. Oh, you almost said back wrestlers. <laughs> uh, you fucked that right. <laughs> I miss talking about wrestling. <laughs> it's clobbering time and then then yeah. finally uh i know this is older news but i i remembered it and i pulled it back up uh we're getting a bunch of new captain americas and uh, one of the more recent ones that was announced is a filipino uh woman um and her name is where is it at here a filipino america who being one of the new shield bearers her name is ari agabani if i'm pronouncing it correctly um What's the gay guy's name Oh, I can't remember. But hold on, let me finish the story. The interesting part is, is when you start to look at the breakdown of the name, uh, her last name, Agabani. Oh, let's, let me see if I can get it how it's pronounced real quick, because I know I am totally fucking that up. Is there going to be a Captain Samoa? <laughs> Samoa. How do you say? <laughs> Job, watch it cool. watch 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 that clip here we go watch that clip, bro. here we go watch that clip i sent ag bayani ag bayani so i area ag bayani uh apparently ag bayani means oh, where was it at here sorry it meant um like super no being heroic is what ag bayani means and then ari is a slang term for genitals so in essence her name means powerful vagina yeah yeah and then the writer was like that's not what we were trying to go for and everybody's like well that's what you did so that's what you wrote oh Sorry. my god yeah maybe you should look up how slang words work and go mm. it's like taco bell when they had the chilito and hold on ariana is that what you said ari is the word ari ari oh they said ariana i was like ariana grande wait yeah, i know big vagina <laughs> Big, big vagina, vagina especially big for vagine for pete for davidson. davidson right <laughs> <laughs> but if you guys remember like taco bell had the cholito and uh and you guys of uh, spanish uh heritage uh understand that the slang term for cholito in mexico is uh small penis small penis is it no it is. i didn't know that because oh you guys not, didn't know that know. well i know yeah, uh, no you... no no that's yeah that must be a mexican yeah. word it that's is funny. a mexican <laughs> word that's what i said it, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I, I didn't realize that. That's funny. But we David, talked about that, how like different stuff means like you like that'll probably mean something different for me and classes. Well, it's also right. we, had a, we had a Mexican restaurant here in Louisville called Chi Chi's. And yeah. in Mexican term, Chi Chi's also means tits. Yeah. And for <laughs> Puerto Ricans, tetas. Tata. Tetas. No, tetas, tetas. 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 <laughs> Yeah, that does is with Guatemala too. That's so, yeah. funny. You have to be very mindful of how you use your words, especially if they're designated in a certain country. They maybe have a slang for those words. What is it? There's a, a place, uh, it was in Nashville. It's like a Mexican restaurant. And there's a food on there called 
Palomas. And in, I don't know if it's all Spanish dialect, but in Guatemala, Paloma is a dick. And so they're offering like fried Palomas. <laughs> Ah, yeah, <laughs> I was like, "Whoa!" I don't want that. Like, it's like the restaurant <laughs> named BJ's. I'm like, somebody was all right with this. Like, <laughs> like cock That's smokers right. knew what they were doing when they right. called their their smoke <laughs> shock <laughs> cock smoke. Yeah, cock smoke. But uh, that's so like good. a a thing I heard like with uh, Dominicans and Puerto Ricans. Like a word in Dominican uh, in, uh, in Spanish where they speak in Santo Domingo is like means dick, but in uh, Puerto Rico, it means fly. So, like, my boss was telling me the story. Which, like, the old lady was like, "Oh, get these things with like dicks away from me." She's like, "I see them saying dick. Like, that doesn't." You say flies? Yeah, she was saying flies, and then like, it was just the funniest <laughs> fucking story ever. And I'm like, "These dicks on my face. They're all over my face." I, mean, I, I can understand that feeling. I mean, I would hate that bunch of dicks. Whoa. Uh, saying, like, would you want a bunch of dicks in your face, or you'd be like, "That's cool. I like." I'm it. good. I mean, if, I'm, I'm all set. If, if it was for the greater good of peace, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'll all the fucking all doing these the off this motion. fucking beach yeah, if, yeah. if it means we're safe. <laughs> Seen is so funny of that. All right, go watch the movie class. So well, I'll bring I will. Up, I'll bring the show to a close. So finally, class, what'd you learn this week? I learned that uh, I've missed the shit out of you guys, and uh, it's been a dark fucking six weeks for me, and so I needed this this brightness and so um yeah i'm gonna start doing uh videos again too so i uh, right. i miss you guys that's what that is what i learned yeah. i didn't learn it i knew it i just needed it so thank you guys yeah you needed that uh just get back into regular world and just uh the fun yeah. of just talking with your friends i mean and ultimately yeah we may, we may make no money off of this our crypto is gonna be the only way we make money uh but at least <laughs> we're having a good time we're recording it and yeah. then this is on for later on. People could watch this stupid fucking show. Joshua, I went back and I watched uh, oh, episode yeah. 298. I'm sorry. I watched 298 actually today because I knew I was thinking we were doing the show tomorrow for whatever reason. I don't know. But I was yeah, because like, oh, on the text it says Monday. But I, I have I wasn't very responsive for a while. So <laughs> no, I know <laughs> I am. No, uh, I, uh, <laughs> I kind of got worried when Doc was asking if you were OK. And I, was like, I mean, I haven't seen anything. I just didn't think anything yeah. of it. Like, well, I mean, back. no, no, but like it had been some time and I know he'd been quiet and I understood, yeah. but I was like, hey, kind of reaching out as a friend. Are and I appreciate good? that. He's good. I I, that, so. Doc is like the greatest person. Like he, he's, he'll check on people. Me, on the other hand, I'm just like, motherfucker's busy, man. What the fuck? Oh, yeah, Who's that's what you follow up. I was like, fuck it. I just ignored Doc too. And I was like, yeah. yeah. No, I like, I don't know. Whenever I, I, I knew you I, had shit going on yeah so i would just kind of yeah i would just you know i needed this and it was i do in all honesty it's like in the past like fucking i guess seven weeks it went from my dad having like what we all thought was a stroke and all this other shit going on i went to florida and and that was all fucked up and two weeks later my youngest sister died and it's just been like you know so i i've just been yeah it was very distant for a while all i was doing just fucking putting in like 60 plus hours at work on top of everything and i would just which is not bad because I was able to get a new truck, but I was just like dying. And now I'm fucking like I'm getting out of the rut. It's 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 good to be back and and talking to my buddies. But well, it's so. good. To He's see gonna you fucking again. just like go into his cryptocurrency and just buy a shit ton of our shit. <laughs> I'm ready for it. I'm ready for it now. That's what I was like. Tell me. I tell I, I texted like, you. So what I recommend, you uh, if you can transfer that the that shit coin Doge. And just transfer into that, and then if you got a little bit of extra that overtime money, toss it in right now. It's it's a good time to pop it in. Yeah, it's will, two hundred dollar profit for Joshua. I so. I'm at shit. I'm at because I just converted Max. I think it was uh, Matic, uh, and I am I think about six to eight hundred dollar profit right now. Nice. Yeah. And so you all use Coinbase. Just sign up for that. Log yeah, but on I to, recommend like, up uh, your own account. Yeah, but I recommend if you if you're going to like ever so often do that money, use Coinbase Pro. Um, okay. And you can transfer it to Coinbase because the fees on Coinbase are some reason higher than Coinbase Pro. But you don't pay anything extra for Coinbase Pro. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll, I'll right. look into that too. Yes. Yes. Joshua, that. what'd you learn this week? I learned that Hades is a very fun game. I have and not I am played enjoying it. it. It actually is a really fun game. I am enjoying it. Uh, I look forward to playing some more of it. Not today, because I, 
I got to eat and watch some uh, programming. But I mm-hmm. literally can't wait to play more of that game. That is a fun fucking game. Well, I may have to download it, but I know a game that I am going to be having downloaded here in the next 20 – actually, it's downloaded, but I'll be able to play it in the next 20 minutes. It'll be uh, the Alien Fire Team game that uh, hopefully my buddy Joshua over there. Uh, I purchased it. I'm just waiting for it to come in the mail. Oh, God, fucking disc guy. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Anyway. Is it, it's and, a new uh, Xbox game? Yeah, it's Xbox, play as PlayStation. It's a, it's kind of like Gears of War, third person. And you play as a uh, you play as uh, you play as a, a co-op of three players, so you can play with us, class. Um, and we're just taking on aliens. We got Ooh, the Nerf what? guns, and now we're yeah. going to be shooting the guns. If you want That's to, so you could be Vasquez. We know you love Vasquez. Would you love to be that character? A white woman playing a Puerto Rican. No one's going to be told, offended by that. I mean, it was the eighties. I told my uh, my my uncle, I was like, "Yo, this game was pretty cool." And he's like, I guess he saw the like interactions on Facebook between me and Doc. He's like, yo, did you buy this game to play with your friends? I'm like, yeah. Plus, you get to kill aliens. That's cool. He goes, you're a loser. Why is that like, a why? loser that you get to hang he's out like, with you? You can talk to your friends no, and play games. No, no, because you said, because you literally just said, it's cool to kill aliens. And I was like, yeah, you got me there. <laughs> Speaking of, of a- alien what? Uh, alien fire team. Fire team. Okay. Fire I'm going to buy I'll buy it today. And this is what I learned. Uh, even if you're 46 years old and they make a Nerf gun that looks like from the movie Aliens and it costs $100, you will buy that fucking gun because it has the sound from the movie. Apparently, I didn't like the color, but they said the color is of the uh, the loader, the, the big okay. mechanical thing. Oh, yeah. That Ripley, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's why it's, it's in that color. Um, but uh, I think there's another gentleman on this podcast who also pre-ordered it also but he also looks like apparently has his own nerf guns there now i have a sniper and a machine gun to go with my my <laughs> artillery now i have a machine Any, gun ho 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 anybody who tries to come in my my property will get nerfed the <laughs> fuck up i mean it's nerf or nothing right i i need to order i need to order this Oh, I didn't so order. I ended up spending five hundred bucks. I ordered two uh pre-ordered two of the fucking wwe elite new generation rings I ordered two of them. Rings? Yeah. Well, all right. It's a ring. It comes with a three figures, and it's a two scale ring too. I mean, and, I will. Uh, I will. It has the new generation, like the the old like entrance that it's all lit up in neon, and it kind of goes. It comes with a Doink the Clown, a Diesel, and an exclusive Macho Man. If you ordered before a certain date, it comes with new ring aprons, and it comes with uh, announcer tables and chairs. It's a whole setup. And they were two fifty each, and I was like, "Fuck it!" I bought one, and then right before they ended the, like you could had to get the Randy Savage by a certain date, like the twenty first, and like at eleven yeah. fifty eight, I was like, "Fuck it!" I bought another one, and I was like, "I mean, they're gonna open, or I'm gonna like you know piece it out." Hey, and did sell you it open up uh, the Modoc? Because you were talking about depending on the votes, would you open it and do an unboxing? What's that just drop some? Did you do an unboxing? There he is. I it's didn't do an unboxing. Like no, I've, I've, yeah, I haven't, uh, I haven't really done anything in a while, but, uh, I'm going to toy headquarters in Lexington tomorrow and oh, it's like cool. starting all over again. So I'm going to go check that out. Well, you know what? So, I, get, uh, I, it, I did you, open the Modoc. You bought a tangible item versus spending 200 to $500 on a digital character that has no value <laughs> after you buy it outside of unlocking possibly <laughs> another character. <laughs> never know and the funny thing is is that hasbro plus site now i'm like fuck why did i learn about this what i was able to get remember i talked about i was looking for that star scream red with the coronation yes. outfit and stuff that was the only place Beautiful. that had it uh walmart yeah. somebody, never gotten in though they're supposed to be getting it and in ebay it was like 20 to 40 dollars more and yeah. outside yeah. of shipping costs i'm like fucking get it to me uh, I've been looking for you uh, every time I go to Walmart. I was I've been looking for both of us on that figure doc because I didn't know about it until you told me about it. So I'll okay. continue to look. I know you already have one. I'm already. If gonna... you want a second one, and I find all right, you don't need. No, no. You know what? If you find, because then one, it's still a little bit cheaper, and then I'm definitely yeah. going to open one. But I'd love to keep one in the box. Yeah. Um, yeah, sure. I'll buy you one, buddy. Uh, and then care. myself, uh, I've got all the as a Funko collector, all the summit collection. I found all the my pops that I was looking for. I was looking for Blade, which finally I found at Walgreens because they had a that thing where awesome. you, could, you could go like uh, the Funko site. Like at a certain point, you could go on in line and order. But like mm-hmm. when I got on it, it get like crashed. 
And the only ones I wanted was Danger Mouse. I wanted Blade and I wanted uh, the movie one. And the only one that was left open after it went up was Danger Mouse. And apparently that lasted long. I was like, fuck you. I want Danger Mouse. Fuck, give me a pen full for fucking sakes. And then Blade. Yeah, I heard Danger like, Mouse is the shit. It is. That's and then I got the. Cool. Yeah. Also, the uh, I got the, uh, the 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 little bottle one too. So I mean, oh, I'm, fuck I'm yeah, man! Danger Mouse Mark from the from the early '80s. Uh, sure. And then uh, and then what else did, did I get? And then, yeah, Blade I found at Walgreens just randomly. I'd stop there to pick up some supplies, and I'm like, there fucking is, and grabbed it. And the That's movie fine. put up on Jay and Silent Bob, though I paid a little bit more. Uh, but thank you also, yeah. movies, for your uh, pop up restaurant. When your guy told me that, oh, we're out of three X's. I'll send you one in the mail. Never fucking got it, but at least you sent my 30 bucks back. So, and luckily I'm good. slimming down. So the 2X actually fits pretty well. So that's good, man. Uh, yeah. Not me with my Ramona flower shirt. The fucking oh, yeah. Which size was that? Better. Extra small was it or something like Extra that? Small. Yeah. I was like, I think medium was small. I told my niece, you want this shirt? She's like, yeah. It's a very uh, soft uh, shirt. That's my, awesome. My 3X. It, Fix, it was like, nice. It almost, it's a little too baggy. I think she said that. She's like, oh my God, this is so soft. I'm like, yeah, yeah I don't, I don't Very soft. Care. Cause like it, it was a limited edition, right? Did you you ordered it too, class? Didn't you? Not the Ramona shirt. I didn't. You didn't do that? Oh my god! What no, I didn't. It, it, you got the CM Punk shirt. <laughs> no, I didn't do that. Either. I didn't. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, all right. Well, then that will bring the show to a close, as we always say. Uh, oh shit! First of all, fuck it, Joshua. How can they learn more about you? <laughs> I don't know. You want to see me bitch and moan about wrestling and other sorts of stuff? Follow me on Twitter at Green Eye Bebop, and then. Want to see me post pictures of like random stuff? Uh, go to Instagram at Green Eye up as well. Uh, class, how can we learn about you or Modoc? Um, you can go on Instagram and uh, follow Craven the Toy Hunt. I'm gonna start. I actually just posted something today. I did uh, an unboxing. I just showed the pieces of a pro wrestling crate that just came out. Oh, I saw. That. Uh, I actually Ooh, got. I want to see. Yeah, that, I, that book. I, that book. Dude, about that comic is pretty cool, man. Yeah, yeah it, it has your boy Orange Cassidy in it and um or written help written by him and um i did get the uh they always have those micro brawlers i got the uh one of the uh one in 250 uh chases which the, i uh, i won one at concave and i have bully ray you back did. There. yes you did it oh. wasn't one of the uh it wasn't one of the uh chases but uh the one i got and i'm about to post it on ebay for 100 bucks oh wow <laughs> good lord <laughs> yeah dude these things stuff for like 80 and 100 bucks so i was like i'll put All it right. like buy it now that paid for a offer. couple subscriptions there then right yeah yeah it's like 30 bucks a month and i was like dude it's awesome it, it comes with a bunch of cool shit and it's like a lot of shirts i probably never wear it's it's i got a fucking uh, genius shirt like a lanny pop i'm never gonna fucking wear that but it's eh, whatever but follow me craving the toy hunt on instagram and you know what fuck it um you want to follow chris class uh c t t h go ahead and do that on That's twitter on instagram or instagram too. That's on Instagram. Uh, that's on, he won't actually. You know what? No, no I'm no, not. Gonna, I'm not going to answer you on that. On uh, go, go cra think? craving the toy hunt. She's craving the toy. Yeah, hunt. just go craving the toy no, hunt, or go to I, uh, follow me on Twitter. Uh, Chris Class B R H. I should probably hey. change it to Chris Class Frack and Nerds or something because B R H. No, B R H forever, bro. Um, Is it? okay. <laughs> I, when you get a chance, I don't know if it's still your notifications, but I tagged you in this uh, picture of this set of uh, Fantastic Four figures, and I was oh. like, fuck class has to see this if you don't see it i'll send it, i'll find it and i'll send it to you again and tell me what on you Instagram? think because i was like on tw uh, twitter on twitter okay okay yeah. i'll check it out I'll check it was it like kind of in the beginning of like uh, august maybe end of july i don't know if you get notifications like that but if you i just want to see what you think of these figures because i was i'm not a figure guy and i was like holy shit these look amazing are they the ones on like the old school cards no they it's like an actual picture of these figures um, if you oh, don't okay. find it, I'll, I'll send it is, to you. Like, is it on the cards ago. that look like this? No, no, I, I don't know if, if oh, it okay. comes like that. It just shows them out the this box. Is, this is riveting podcasting right here. It's just, <laughs> is it this? No. Is it this? Right no. <laughs> I'll show you when we're not on the air, okay? That's when it'll be on. <laughs> right there, drunkie. Fox fire, Live. Fire. Let, me, yeah. Let me tell you about Rick and Morty. Oh, we talking about Rick and Morty now. <laughs> <laughs> That episode, that wasn't a good episode. <laughs> At I don't that know. point, can't even yeah, the, like, the bad part is I had no clue what I what my beliefs were or anything like that. That's like, ugh, everything went black. That that. Yeah, 
everything went black and could splat because you threw <laughs> the shit up. Wrap it up, Doc. Let's go. I got to. All eat. right. If I'm you hungry. need more information about fracking nerds, one, join the Discord because we're on there. We are talking about TV. We are talking about movies. The shit we talk about here, you can come join us. So come on the site, Discord, join, have fun. Uh, Kennedy pops up there all the time. Class, never. But Joshua and myself, we're on there. And if you guys are on there, we're talking to you. We want to be a part of your group. We're on I Instagram. Think, uh next episode kennedy's gonna get on because kennedy's like you never told me when the show's gonna be on he's never on i mean it's just he's like, never on. i know uh instagram uh again and that's what we're talking about when the new shows are gonna be on uh instagram uh facebook uh what else are we on twitter or underscore our doc underscore martin if you want to follow me on twitter which is pretty much me just uh harassing our own joshua with memes uh, and then he makes fun of me because like i said a lot of stuff that you should have responded to and i was like i'm working and he knows I honestly you can always tell when I'm day, not working hard because he's like, you're posting a lot of memes right now. I honestly thought that day, uh, 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 that day I was bored at work and I just like started tweeting my work day. I was like, oh, Doc's going to have a field day. <laughs> Doc didn't respond that no. once. I was that means that I was out. busy. I was busy all day. I didn't get a chance to even look at it. Uh, so, yeah, definitely draw, uh, join us on Discord if you want to hang out with us and talk to us um but yeah and then and also share share the youtube share the podcast tell your friends if they're nerdy and they like it because that's we just talk nerdy stuff and i've a lot of you want to make fun of joshua and his background that's right which it it got a little less back there so it's sad sad he's gotta he's gotta save that money for that new uh nerf gun so there it is (laughs) i've never seen that up close joshua that is (laughs) <laughs> I, I I paid for that shit. Like, did you guys forget? I mean, Doc must have forgot. I don't pay for it. I I, I love that. Oh no, I no, he got that, that, that from a friend, didn't he? So yeah. All right. So for Joshua over on the East Coast, class all the way across that bridge in Indiana. This is Doc Martin saying, "Have a fracking good week." <laughs>